I'm standing in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. I have not flown in here for the weekend. I've actually spent five months driving down from Seattle, Washington in a van, enjoying the sights while working full time as a documentary film editor. And one of the key things that has made this possible is the use of a virtual reality headset and an app called Immersed, which has allowed me multiple large monitors and a virtual environment to work in as if I was working from home at my standing desk. Although my setup does not use the yet to be released Apple Vision Pro headset, this will kind of give you a really good sense of what it will be like to use the headset once it is available for purchase. It will give you a very good preview of what it will be like doing things like video editing and other creative work. To start, I'm going to do a quick run through of my own edit station setup to show how I mimic the setup within a virtual environment. Your setup may be different, but you can customize your environment to your own needs. I prefer to stand up and work to avoid back issues, hence the standing desk. Portability is important to me, so I run everything off of a 16-inch MacBook Pro. I like a lot of real estate when I edit, so I use a single 4K 55-inch LG OLED TV as my monitor. For sound, I use a Bose computer speaker setup with a woofer, just plain old stereo. I use a wireless Apple keyboard and a wireless Logitech ergonomic mouse. I have an iPad Pro with an Apple Pencil to keep track of emails, notes, or to hop on Zoom meetings. I have a stack of hard drives with 72 terabytes of footage. They connect to my MacBook Pro via a Thunderbolt 4 hub that also supplies my laptop with power through a single Thunderbolt 4 cable. On this setup, I hop between Avid Media Composer and Adobe Premiere Pro, and I have cut everything from scripted feature films, full-length documentaries, and television shows on this setup. Immersed is an application that runs inside a virtual reality headset and allows a Mac or PC to wirelessly connect to virtual displays inside the virtual reality environment. At the time of shooting this video in the fall of 2023, Compatible headsets include the HTC Vive Focus 3, the Pico 4, the MetaQuest Pro, and the MetaQuest 2, which is the only model that I have tested and the model that I am using for my setup. The MetaQuest 2 has a retail price starting at $299 in the United States at the time of filming. Visit Immerse.com for updated information on compatible headsets and detailed information on how to set up the application on your device. If you have never used a VR headset before, there will be a bit of a learning curve. The MetaQuest 2 is very user-friendly, however, and you only need very basic knowledge of how to use the hardware to set up and use the application immersed. There are lots of tutorials out there on how to get started with VR and using headsets, so I will not cover those basics in this video. To get started, your computer and VR headset need to be on the same Wi-Fi network in order to connect wirelessly and make sure that you have installed the Immersed application on both your computer and your VR headset. Launch the Immersed application on your computer and then power on and put on your headset. We are now inside the meta virtual reality environment. You're seeing a screen recording of what I'm seeing when I move my head around, using my hand controllers to click and select options and settings. The first thing I need to do is change the setting to get rid of the controllers and use hand tracking instead so that I can move my hands freely once I begin using the Immersed app. Again, there are plenty of tutorials out there on how to use hand tracking, which is very intuitive. To select something, you point at it and then pinch your fingers to select or launch. Next step is to select and click on the Immersed app. This brings us inside the Immersed application's own virtual environment, which uses hand tracking in a very interesting way. If you turn the palm of your left hand towards your eyes, a menu option appears, which you can select by tapping, and that triggers a menu screen to pop up in front of you. On the top left-hand corner of the menu, tap on computers. Since I have previously connected my computer, you can now see an icon of it here. But the first time you connect a new computer, you just click on add a computer and go through the few steps to connect your PC or Mac. I'll go straight to launching my computer by clicking on it. Voila! My two screens pop up in my virtual environment, and I am wirelessly connected to my MacBook Pro through Wi-Fi. Now, you will need to go through a setup process the first time to configure your virtual monitors. I opted for two equal-sized monitors next to each other. 
It's hard to tell from the screen recording, but when you're wearing the headset, the current size of the virtual monitors would be the equivalent of about 60 or 75 inch television screens. They are massive. You can move these virtual monitors and place them anywhere you please within your environment. You can choose between flat or curved monitors and adjust the size of them. If one or two screens is not enough, you can add a third screen by clicking on the plus button. You can add a maximum of five screens, but anything more than three screens requires that you upgrade to the paid option of the application for a monthly subscription fee. For my setup, I don't need more than two or three. Okay, so you have virtual screens in place, but how do you control your computer within this environment? Well, you could blindly feel around for your keyboard and mouse, but Immersed has a much better solution. Bring up the menu again, and you will see a keyboard option at the bottom of the menu screen, giving you two options. You can either create a portal to use your headset camera to see a fuzzy outline of your physical keyboard, project it into the virtual environment, or you can choose track keyboard and Immerse creates a virtual rendering of your compatible keyboard and tracks the location of the physical keyboard so that you always know what button you're pushing. It's pretty amazing. Next, you can set up portals or holes in your virtual environment where you can see objects from your real environment using the tracking cameras on the headset. Objects like your mouse or iPad. The screen recording only presents it as a black hole, but when wearing the headset, you will actually see a very fuzzy black and white outline of your hand and mouse, which is all you need for your mouse, but it's not really sufficient for iPad use. You can't really see what you're typing. I have the portal for the iPad, mostly so I don't knock it over while I'm working. Another really cool feature is that you can change your virtual environment to suit your mood. They're both free and paid options to choose from. But for me, the ultimate feature is to change my real environment. The ability to get out of my home office and take my editing suite and setup with me anywhere I want to go. To illustrate, I'll show you how I'm able to work from my van while I'm on the road. It doesn't really matter that I'm in a cramped space about one fifth of the size of my home office. My virtual environment is the same and gives me the illusion of space. I'm using the same wireless keyboard and mouse connected to the same MacBook Pro but I keep my laptop and iPad out of the way on the van's bed. For sound, I hop between a pair of over-the-ear noise-canceling headphones and my AirPods. I brought all my hard drives along for the ride and velcroed them into a handy drawer under the bed. It slides in and locks when not in use. Again, I'm using my Thunderbolt 4 hub to connect all my drives and at the same time power my computer. Since I need a Wi-Fi network to connect the headsets wirelessly, I've equipped the van with Starlink. I connect via Starlink's router, which also gives me access to high-speed internet on the go. And since the Wi-Fi signal is pretty strong, I'm not even restricted to the van when I'm out in nature. I can set up on a picnic bench or on my portable aluminum table and get to work in the great outdoors. Although my experience is that strong direct sunlight can cause some issues with hand tracking and you will constantly be approached and have your work interrupted by curious passerbys if there are people around. On the topic of other people, Immersed also makes it possible for collaborators wearing their own VR headsets anywhere in the world to join you in your virtual environment wherever you may be. So your director or producer can sit in on your edit when you need to make on-the-fly changes or have a brainstorming session. There are of course issues and drawbacks. Like any software, Immersed has some minor bugs. I've sometimes noticed that my monitors don't always show up in the same place where I left off the day before. Wi-Fi connection sometimes drops, and the headset sometimes freezes and needs a hard reboot, along with your computer, which can be a bit tedious since there are quite a few steps to get it up and running again. But for me, the main issue is comfort. There are lots of accessories that make it more comfortable to wear the headset, but it's still pretty heavy and after a few hours of use, my neck starts to hurt. To mitigate this, I take off the headset and check emails and notes on my iPad and listen to interviews on my laptop to get a break from the headset. Although there are many drawbacks and issues, this workflow has been invaluable for me on this trip, enabling me to really concentrate and work with big monitors when I really need them. I, for one, am very excited to try the new Apple Vision Pro headset, which promises to be a huge improvement on my current workflow. High resolution, seamless connectivity to Mac devices, augmented reality features. There's so many things that are very promising. And if you're able to use it for work, it might just justify the high price tag. I encourage you to try out my setup if you want to kind of get an idea of what it will be like to use the Apple Vision Pro for video editing. Um, it's not a perfect 
exact replication of what it will be like, but it should give you a really good idea. If you do try it out, please comment below and let me know how it works for you. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed the video.